Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Basketball 2 box a hobby break number 12. One spot gets you two teams right here. And there's everybody, all that information right here. The Marvels cards are really great. Those Lamellos are awesome. The crunch times are fun. Big thanks to these folks right here. One spot gets you two. So let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot and all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a four, nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Five and a four, nine times, nine times. We've got nine, we've got Hunter down to Nicholas. The big, we have, they probably have the big hit, Foghorn. Five and a four, nine times for the teams, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got the Warriors down to the Pelicans. Maybe some second year Zion Williamson's could be in there. All right. Hunter, you got the Golden State Warriors. Allen with the Heat. Hunter with the Mavs. Monty with the Hawks. Demetrius with the Suns. Monty with the Magic. Jason with the Kings. Allen with the Spurs. Wes with the Celtic. Nicholas, you got my Lakers. Matthew with the Thunder. Robert with the Jazz. Allen with the Rockets and the Knicks. Matthew with the Hornets. Robert with the Pistons. Allen with the Grizzlies. Ryan with the Nuggets. Wesley with the Bulls. Curtis with the T Wolves. Demetrius with the Nets. Jason with the Cavs, Allen with the Sixers, Curtis with the Bucks, Ryan with the Pacers, Wesley with the Trailblazers, uh, Washington Wizards and Raptors for Mac, Wes with the Clip Show, and Nicholas with the Pelicans. And it's Matthew Shearer with the Hornets, by the way, LaMelo ball hunting. All right, so let's get all this on one screen. Let's alphabetize by team. And this is from a fresh case. So we've got the case right over here. This is kind of a awkward size case. I'm going to open up the case back here. All right. So in the case, you can see on the camera we'll go, it's 10 boxes here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go left to right, five. If I roll a six, I'll just roll again. So it's gonna be three. So one, two, and three. So it's the middle two boxes that we're gonna do right here. Next time I'll probably just grab just random boxes out of there. All right, I'm gonna pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then the break, stick around. All right, welcome back folks. No trades, but here is the final printout on Friday the 19th. Thanks for spending a bit of your uh, first round NCAA tournament basketball weekend with us. Appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out with us on a Friday and watching the show. Doing, doing the same thing. We're watching, we're watching basketball too. We're watching hoops and we're breaking hoops. If I could find my knife, I could open up this case. Oh, I left it over here because I was opening up that fresh case. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's definitely a two screen day, a multi screen day. I would have like a computer with Jaspies on. I would have my iPad playing up one basketball game and maybe your main TV, another basketball game. We've got an upset alert, folks. We got North Texas up 13 seed North Texas, up on fourth seed Purdue 66 to 61. Three minutes left in over OT. North Texas took it to overtime. About to mess up some brackets. That would really destroy my, my South bracket. With Ohio State in the South, if they, if they go down and Purdue goes down, I mean, Baylor will just waltz through that, that division. This is going to sound like a stupid question, but where is North Texas located? <laughs> like, what city is it located in? Is it in Dallas? 
Or is it just like in some random city in northern Texas? Or is it not as north as that? How north do they go? For those of you who have small children, I think that uh, the tournament is one of the best ways to learn like geography <laughs> and like where colleges are located. It's actually a city called North Texas in Montana. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me either. It's like uh, what always jams me up when I was back in the day. Um, Miami, Ohio, I think, right? Like that, jam that really trips me. That used to trip me up. I was like, "Wait, what?" We got not Lamelo to three forty nine, and we've got more not Lamelo to one ninety nine, and then we got an Anthony Edwards who went off for forty over like forty forty two points the other night. Is there a chance that Anthony Edwards can can chase down LaMelo in the Rookie of the Year race? And so Denton is east of Dallas. Thank you, Logan. Yeah, the ends are saying Denton, Texas, which is east of Dallas. All right. Bismarck, Biombo. Patrick Williams is pretty solid. That'll go to the Bulls, Wes Thomas. There's a California University of Pennsylvania. See, that just makes my head hurt. Jim Grace is no way. Mello is gonna is going all the way. I don't know, but what if what if what if Anthony Edwards puts up forty a night? What if he averages 49 from here on out? There's LaMarcus Aldridge. Where does LaMarcus Aldridge go? He's going to be traded. Caleb Martin. Tyrese. The rest of those are vet commons. All card chip in this. All right, so if, if you see me miss something, don't worry about it. It'll still get to you. We, we package these things up pretty well, so... We'll get those safe and sound. Sorry, Logan's saying north of Dallas. Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Wait, so are those like satellite, are those like Penn satellite schools? There's Jordan and, Nor and Wara for the Bucks. That'll be for Curtis. Oh, don't worry, Logan. It goes and runs. Just Jazz just had an incredible run. You just just need to. You want that dip to happen now, and you want them to to peak again in going into the playoffs. That's what you, that's what you need. You Got to time those runs correctly. James Wiseman. For Golden State, that's for Hunter and the Warriors. No, you actually think they're towns or counties of that same name. That's crazy. Precious to 199. It's Jason Tatum Marvel. I think these Marvels cards, especially the rookies, sell pretty well on the secondary market. There's our Lamello. What's Pennsylvania doing out there? There's all these little little towns out in the middle of nowhere. Jersey Shore in Central PA. Come on. All right, Charlotte. Who has uh, who has Charlotte? Matthew Shearer. There you go, Matthew. Nice hit. I guess those are considered hits now.
All right, Miami, Allen gets the Precious Achua, who has a pretty decent ceiling, too. Oh, I thought that was second year Zion for a second. No. Where does LaMarcus Aldridge go? Remember a week ago, I think it was a week ago, they announced that they were just mutually agreeing to part ways. I think San Antonio wanted to just go ahead and start playing more of their youngsters, and I think LaMarcus Aldridge just wants to be on a on a contending team, and so they did him a solid. They're going to let him, they're going to entertain trade offers, but where does he go? Another Morant. The trade, what, what day is today? Today's the 19th. I think the trade deadline is like in less than a week, maybe? Is it on the 25th or 28th or something like that? It's coming up, so if they want to make a deal for this season anyway, I think it's got to happen now. Grizzle, what's going on? A second year, John Morant from Memphis. That'll be for Allen. There's Davis Bertans to 99 for Washington. Wow, a minute left, and North Texas is up seven on fourth rank Purdue. Is this going to be sad? It's looking like sad times for Purdue. Another LaMelo. That's happy times for Charlotte and Matthew Shira. March 25th. There you go. Thank you. He ends the saying it's the trading deadline. There's Wiseman for Hunter. And an autograph, it's Killian Hayes for Detroit. 16 out of 49 for Robert Thacker. Last spot mojo and tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Nice. Yeah, Rex. Duke, Kentucky missing in the tournament just seems a little odd. Marquette, too. Marquette just fired their coach today. Draymond to 349 and... Paul George to 199. There you go. I couldn't see the number for a second. Wow. You got a foul, Purdue. Purdue, foul. What are you guys doing? They just wasted like 15 seconds trying to... Sorry, Rex. This is a sad, sad game for you. Yeah, North Texas, 13th seed, is up 68-61 on Purdue in overtime. Yeah. yeah. Well, Martin, they're acting like it's a conference championship game. Slacking. Purdue Spoiler maker? No, the that that would be a good thing. Chokers. <laughs> more like the more like the choker makers. More like uh, the the bust your bracket yeah, makers. Yeah, bust, bust your bracket breakers. No, that three is off. Shoot it again. Off the front of the iron. Done. This game's over. It's a good time to have Arkansas in these final four, baby. Let's go. I know, right? North Tech or Purdue's out, and so is uh, Ohio, Ohio State's State, in the same. So they got a great run. Other than Baylor, who didn't look good today. But they're gonna. They, what, Wisconsin won today. No, it was Wisconsin won. Yeah. Yeah. So. so they gotta beat Wisconsin. That's easier for. Although um, Florida looked decent. Hmm. Interesting. Curtis with the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards. Or once again, Curtis. Obi Toppin for, I think, Allen and the Knicks. There you go, Allen. That is wild. That 
Goran Dragic goes to Miami. LeBron James, zero gravity. Bye. Danny Avija, Kongu, not Lamelo. Got a nice Giannis member. Well, all, all card ship, but in a no vet common break, Giannis still does ship. We got Robert Covington to 49. Got Anthony Davis, crunch time. Got some solid kids right here, too. It's Covington for the Rockets. Sadiq Bay for Detroit for Robert. Emmanuel quickly has been looking good too, Allen and the Knicks. Yeah, UNC didn't Lost two. I don't think they did, were, did not play well. Do I have Rutgers winning a couple games, I think? That's on TBS. Yeah, I, I had UNC losing to Wisconsin. I've got Rutgers. I got Rutgers winning a game. I got San Diego State winning two games. I'll watch that San Diego State game. Yeah, I agree. I, th I think San Diego State, you know, generally does all right in the tournament. They they could they could win a game or two, sometimes more. But this game is over. North Texas, wow. Yeah, sorry, Rex. And Rex had Rex had Purdue going all the way. That wasn't it wasn't a bad. It wasn't a bad call, though. They're a four seed. They're supposed to be pretty good. Wow. Oh, hey. A lot, a lot of Cinderella's, I guess, this year. I had Colgate moving on for a game or two. They were supposed to be the team that's doing what North Texas is doing. Yeah, that the south portion of my bracket is 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 a mess. It's bloody. It's done. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think they were. I mean, they were a long longer shot outside of like Gonzaga and Baylor and Illinois and. Michigan, maybe a couple other teams, but then it would have been like Purdue, you know, would have been like the next one right there. But it's not like they were a crazy long shot. Like it would, it's Jamal Murray. I think people would have been like, all right, yeah, I could, I could see Purdue winning the, you know, if they had won it all, I could see people saying, yeah, I could see that happening. There's another LaMelo ball. Nice. All those add up nicely, Matthew Shira. Maybe one of these grades out really nicely. Pretty good. 
And these crunch time LeBron James are pretty good too. I I I too have Winthrop over Villanova. But I have San Diego State beating Syracuse. All right, Adam, what are we what are we watching? Are we watching Am I watching that San Diego State game? Which I think is on CBS. I think they just started though. What what game is further ahead? I feel like maybe the Rutgers game is a little bit further ahead. Yeah, it's a little further along, right? All right. We don't need to be watching Houston, right? Nothing crazy is happening there. Need a scoreboard update right here. All right, Obi Toppin was numbered, Alan. That was pretty nice. Lonnie has North Texas making the Elite Eight. No, the Houston game's the final at 87-56. Yeah, they cruised. All right, all right, all right. So I think the games that we have left tonight is just a few games in the South and Midwest region. And the other two regions are tomorrow. But we've got I'm gonna got Clemson Rutgers right now. I've got Rutgers advancing. Then we'll probably flip over to San Diego State Syracuse. I have San Diego State advancing. And then the last game of the night will be Villanova, Winthrop. Also, there's Jay Crowder to 199. There's, I don't know why this Russell Westbrook was flipped around, but there he is. Uh, Matt says, go Wildcat. My, my heart says Villanova, but I feel like, aside from that one year, I feel like I've gotten burned too many times with Villanova. Villanova. I could always they always get a little overhyped and and then they then they make me sad. Nick Jaspi's dad, the boss man, is uh, lived in the Philadelphia area for a long time. Is big Villanova fan. And there's Tyrell Terry. One out of ten for the Dallas Mavericks. Hunter is now a big fan of Tyler Terry. Now with this low numbered autograph, he wants him to succeed. Be hashtag good for the hobby, good for the value of that card. Uh, that's Keldon Johnson to 349. There's Carl Anthony Towns, another low number, 9 out of 10. Zero gravity Zion. Not LaMelo. Not LaMelo. Ah, and Adam Seaton Hall, so not a fan of Nova. Nice cat, Carl Anthony Towns for Curtis and the T Wolves. No, I think he's uh, I think he's good on on that, Brandon. He's got too many too much too much stuff in his personal collection. I know I, I that kind of that kind of sucks. I I I thought about that the other day, Adam, like. How many teams that were in the tournament last year that got canceled and are not in this year? You know what I mean? I mean, the trickle down effect is kind of huge if you think about it. I mean, COVID, COVID impacting everybody in different ways. Um, let's say Seton Hall wins a game or two. 
right? I don't know what seed they were going to be, but let's say they, they, they get in, they win a game or two. Like, that's national TV exposure. And there may be some kid in some other part of the country who's like, oh, they would have been like a four seed? All right, yeah, so imagine if, like, that's a lot of national national attention on, on, on TV. Some kid sitting at home watching is like, yeah, you know what? That's, that's a cool team. I want to go. I want to go to Seton Hall. Fifty-one out of ninety-nine. There's Jalen Brown for the C's. Like, you know, they're kids, right? It's like TV. TV time matters. They're like, oh, Seton Hall. Go out to New York. Seems pretty cool. Manuel Quickly's pretty solid for Allen. Oh, and you had tickets to the Big East tournament too. Actually, you know, I've never done a, uh, a basketball tournament like that. I really need to get that, get that under under my, uh, get that checked off my sports live sports checklist. I had big plans for going to Vegas last summer, and go and watching summer league. It's Patrick Williams, I was like, oh, that'd be fun, you know, see the new draft class, and you know, go go watch NBA summer league. See all these youngsters, scout out the youngsters for future group breaks and just for fun. But no, that was ruined too. There's Theo Maladon for OKC. That will be for Matthew Shira. Almost done here. Marvel's Zion is pretty strong. RJ Hampton. And we've got here just a last bit here. Got a LeBron James for the Lakers, Nicholas with those LeBron Jameses. I think these have a surprising amount of secondary val secondary market value, Nicholas. That and the uh, couple other inserts that I pulled earlier. There's Alexei Pokusevsky, Jersey Kings relic for OKC. That's going to be for Matthew Shira, and that. Is that Kobe White to 349? Aaron Gordon to 199? More Zion, Steph Curry, Marvels, Devin Vassell, Obi Toppin, Anthony Edwards, and even Kenyon Martin Jr. Look at what he's been doing the last few days, the last few games. He's been playing well. Anthony Edwards put up 42 points last night. Woo! Good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. Curtis with that one. Obi Toppin. Still, what's that? Yep, Kevin Porter Jr. Dust off your Kevin Porter Jr. from like last year. Yeah. There's Devin Vassell. He's been playing well. So a lot of exciting times for basketball, especially if you've been collecting with us for the last couple of years. It's good to just kind of dig through some of those cards, do a little spring cleaning, and check out what check out some of the rookies that might be might have been off your radar, but put them back on your radar. Just a quick little recap right here. Some pretty nice stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us and a ton of other rookies and stuff that are going to be sleeved and top loaded and sent off to you. It's going to be awesome. Two box Ram Team 12 in the books. That was uh, Panini Donner's basketball. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.